you making, well, friend? What are you making? We have got a uh, kind of a coconut curry soup with chickpeas and some roasted chicken and peppers and potatoes and carrots and peas over some rice. So it's a really hearty kind of slightly spicy soup, a little bit of coconut milk to kind of mellow it out and chill it. Okay. Um, but this is a great soup to, to kind of try mixed ingredients. You know how I am? I, I always say have some freedom with making soup. That's kind of the point. Mm -hmm. So I've started with some shallots okay. and some garlic. And some ginger. And that's we've got the recipe for folks at home, by the way. So mm -hmm. as you're preparing your soup, right we'll be able to see the ingredients Top as up. you're throwing them in. Does awesome. that sound like a plan? That sounds great. So okay. these are aromatics. So these are going to kind of just lightly saute and get a little uh, translucent so you can start to see through the shallot. I've got coconut oil in the pot that I had going just before we came on. So that was kind of at medium-high heat so that we can get some good, good color out of these uh, veggies. May I ask while you're stirring that, yep. do you cook a lot of things with coconut oil? Because I, I really love like it. I do. It's it's first off, it's you know takes heat very well, so mm -hmm. you can actually you know bump that heat up and get good color. Okay. Um, tie in you know things that are good good cholesterol numbers mm -hmm. go up, um, and it doesn't spoil. It doesn't it doesn't uh, turn bad. So really, coconut oil is kind of a superfood. Nice. So I like to use it, and it imparts a tiny little bit of flavor that in this curry is gonna gonna be great. Smells fabulous so, so far. I noticed this. Noticed yeah. that you've added a lot of things, Just, and they've had it I did on a the little screen. Salt and pepper, and okay. I've got a little bit of sugar to kind of sweeten here, as we're gonna add some crushed red pepper. Okay. Some curry powder, and what else do I have? Oh, cumin. I have a little bit of cumin too. So okay. great color, and uh, we're gonna throw in some peppers here oh too. Goodness, some sweet that. peppers that, that we diced fabulous. up. A little crushed red pepper. I think the last time I was on, I dumped a whole thing of crushed red pepper in. You, you, you were trying Hazel to burn Marie, our mouths. You like you held it together. You did not show weakness. You <laughs> we, were, were like, you know, we were like, we got this. You were fine. Afterwards, we ran to the water right? over I there, the water cooler. I distinctly remember that. Uh, so then I've just added some cooked chicken. You know, you can buy a rotisserie chicken and pull it. Um, that's what we did. And I've got some chickpeas, which are just canned, and these are rinsed and drained. Get all of that liquid off of them. What are chickpeas? I mean, like, what are we talking about? Is that what you it's use to make hummus? Yeah, it absolutely is. Garbanzo beans or chickpeas. Brilliant, exactly. I know. But those look like they're seasoned or something. We did. We kind of okay. just tossed them in a little bit of olive oil and roasted them to give them a little bit more color. Oh, you know, okay. at home, probably not worth it for this soup. It's something that we had and uh, we were doing in a catering recipe this week, so they were already available. They worked really well. They kind of will blend in here well. Well, and I, you've always said to us uh, that, like you said, whatever you have laying yeah. around can oftentimes be your best absolutely. ingredient for a absolutely. soup. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I've got some warm chicken broth that we've brought in here. Okay. Um, so that's uh, kind of going to help everything come to a boil. Mm -hmm. These uh, potatoes and carrots are just going to kind of slowly simmer in this or bring it back to a boil, cover it, and then last minute we're going to add some coconut milk and some cilantro to garnish with some peas and serve it over rice. Now, and when you serve it over rice, it, I mean, is it, is it still soupy or is, then is it thicker? And, and it, it will tighten up a little bit if you let that soup sit over the rice. Mm -hmm. um, you can serve it on the side too and so just have a bowl of like nice steamed rice to go with the soup and maybe some bread. I'm going to let you give a little plug. How are things going for you Good. at the Red Barn? Good. Gosh, we're great. We're about to kick off wedding season mm -hmm. and uh, we've got a duck beer wine dinner planned for March and Max New Market is coming back for the home and we have a, um, a winter festival coming up to celebrate art and so a lot of cool new things going on and the Airbnb is reopening at Sycamore Farm. So Oh, that's um, exciting. We'll have something, something new in the house too. You know, it's a blessing. It's a blessing for charities uh, like Catholic Charities to have you and I know Jeff's yeah. watching right now, Jeff and Kelly Ford, but in all honesty, it's our community that supports the charities and it's our community that supports the local places. Absolutely. I think we're all a pretty good team around really here. Really lucky. Yeah, we're we are really blessed. Absolutely. Well, we're lucky as we can smell this soup. You can't. But after the break, we're going to taste a little bit of that and remind you again how to get tickets to the event. So will you guys hold tight? Absolutely. Alrighty, stay with us. We'll be right back.